Lenovo P1M uh, has 8 megapixel camera on the rear with autofocus and a small LED flash, while on the front you'll find a 5 megapixel camera for selfies. It takes about 2 seconds to start up the camera application for the first time, and the first snapping of the image is instantaneous which is great. In the camera interface, it's everything is easy to use. All the icons are where they should be. Uh, it, just the problem that the camera has problem with autofocus, it focuses all the time. Uh, you'll see in the photo quality that uh, uh, sadly it, it isn't able to focus uh, as it should uh, a lot of times. So uh, let's begin with the rear camera. The quality from the rear camera is good when it's uh, able to focus and mostly it's when the weather conditions are ideal or the light conditions are ideal colors are reproduced as you see them with your own eyes and reality and there is no noise on details the you can see the grass and the leaves uh, on the this 100 percent crop and in the low light conditions so when you're indoors uh, or when it's cloudy uh, it's it's uh, even harder for the camera to focus so a lot of the images will be blurry uh, also the colors uh, won't be exact uh, you can see for instance this yellow and green on the sofa and on the snake uh, they're a bit washed out in uh, low light conditions so when you go outdoors in, on your night out uh, with uh, street lights uh, a lot of photos will be blurry and the, the camera just won't be able to focus uh, so uh, you still won't be able to see your friends' faces uh, on those photos, so I don't think they'll, they'll be usable. The rear camera records video in lower HD 720p resolution, and the picture is a bit washed out and it's pixelized, but still a video is usable during day daytime uh, in good light conditions. In low light conditions, video has again problem with the focus. Uh, although the picture is usable when it's able to focus, but just for some basic usage. <laughs> Front camera provides pretty solid photos in ideal uh, light conditions, but if the sun is uh, in your image, you'll get a flare effect, uh, so it won't look really, really good. And the colors look a little bit washed out, so I guess most of the selfies will look good in daylight, but you won't fit many friends in your in your image because uh, the front camera doesn't have a wide angle of shooting. In low light conditions, uh, most of the photos will be blurry and unusable from the front camera. So uh, forget about selfies uh, on your night out. You can record VGA video from the front camera, so just a very low resolution from the front camera the picture on the video is although uh, usable it looks pretty good uh, but in low light conditions uh, you'll just see some shades uh, so uh, in low light it won't be usable so in the end uh, photos from the rear camera on this smartphone are pretty good uh, when they're re reduced to instagram or some uh, similar resolution like maybe two megapixel is uh, that's what you see on your screen if you have full full HD resolution on your on your laptop or on your smartphone and low light conditions uh, photos are somewhat usable from the rear camera and the same uh, I can say for the HD video while the front camera is usable only in daylight conditions when you have great uh, lighting conditions in low light uh, it, it won't be really usable uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or if you have this smartphone I love to see your comments below and see you in the next video bye